guys, it's Sarah from All Combust Ladies. So today we're gonna review an Alcon that surprisingly hasn't got much attention on social media, but there is something onto them. And until now, we've seen a lot of development in the crypto and blockchain space. However, even if the blockchain was created to decentralize the digital world, it's still facing some problems like scalability and energy consumption, for example. And while the developers are working constantly on finding solutions for scalability and energy consumption, a new project came to surface and that's Hollow, and it aims to solve those problems but also to decentralize the entire internet. So before we get to an actual look on their white paper, let's have a look on crypto, shall we? So we've got market cap on 298 billion. Bitcoin is remaining strong over 8K with a trading price of almost 800, 200. This is a really good start to something that might be coming soon, but I don't want to jinx this. I'm not going to say anything. So let's get on to Holo. And according to their white paper, the Holo is built with the help of users, of hosts, which provide storage and processing power for dApps while they are being paid with Holo fuel, which we're going to talk about in a bit. So that means that the centralized web applications that are being stored in data centers will be decentralized by Holo and the community that is using it. Their white paper tells us, obviously, also that the process will be self-scaling through the peer-to-peer -peer architecture, which automatically performs load balancing and load sharing across thousands or even millions of peers. There might be like a feeling to say that the holochain is a blockchain, but not actually like a conventional one. And I'm going to explain to you why. So the blockchain was created as a software-like architecture and relies on databases to function. And this technology records all the transactions and informations in a vast distributed database. It has one shared reality across the nodes. The holochain, on the other hand, is created on an agent-centric architecture, meaning that the whole system is fueled by each user or host that uses technology. And according to the white paper as well, the holochain allows nodes to act independently or in tight coordination only with counterparties and then share independently evolving data realities that agree over time. And with Holo, each host will be able to transform their computers and devices into a money machine that is paid for hosting the distributed apps. And on top of that, each user can choose what app to host and also to set their own hosting prices. Which leads us to the next step being Holo Fuel. So I've mentioned it previously, and the, basically the Holo Fuel is like the community will be paid in credits, which are being called Holo Fuel. According to their paper as well, it is designed to transact half volumes of microtransactions. The team behind Holo explains that Holo Fuel is not a cryptocurrency or a token, but a crypto credit which is created to link the transactions between the Holo host. And the value of Holo Fuel will be stable because the computing power of each device backs it. However, the team declared that the value of the cryptocurrency would be dependent on the number of hosts that are online and share the computing power. And with each host, the ecosystem grows more valuable, making the credits increase in value too. So there are quite essential characteristics of Holofuel and basically it is asset-backed, it does not use token or coins, and transactions are also countersigned by both parties. And at the moment, the Holo is an ERC20 token which will be changed in Holo Fuel after the team launches the final version of the platform. But how does this all work? So, application provider purchases hosting. Then the host generates signed service logs. App provider pays the host. Hosts might opt to cash out their hosting credits from their reserve account where the original payment was made, and a host can only cash out credits earned for hosting. And while the crypto market has started to gain traction once again, it seems that the world of technology is also working over time to deliver solutions which are giving the users the power to change the infrastructure of the digital world and the internet itself. Holo seems to be like a huge project and many people are suggesting that it will be the next biggest thing after Bitcoin and Ethereum. And now I want to know your opinion guys about it. What do you guys think of Holochain? Do you guys agree with my last statement or do you think I'm sort of pushing my luck here and you actually never heard of it? But I think from all of this excitement about discovering Holo, I actually forgot to mention why I'm actually reviewing them. So recently Binance listed Holo and that was literally yesterday. And you can obviously purchase Holo with 
Bitcoin and Ethereum. So let's have a look on CoinMarketCap and how is it doing. So Holo is currently ranked 87. It's currently down 2% and it's trading at not 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 8 cents. The market cap is at 414. And as you guys can see, it's a new token. It hasn't been really around for a while. So we can't really say what all-time high price was because it just wouldn't be fair, would it? So besides Binance, you can get it on Hotbit, IDX and LA token. So guys, let me know what you actually think of this crypto. Have you heard of it? Or have I actually discovered a gem that you might actually invest in? Let me know what you guys think of it. But before we go, I want to say that Holo is actually, not that it matters, but it's in front of Polymath, Gas, Pivx, Nulls, Electronium, Elastostenix, Theta Token, loads of great projects. So if you guys actually haven't heard of it, um, this is not professional financial advice, I forgot to mention. And I'm just reviewing the token and the news that managed to spike up the price as always, because that's basically what addition to a new exchange does to crypto. And if you guys enjoy my videos and like my style, then I highly recommend you guys follow me on Twitter at Altcoin Sarah. Remember to follow Altcoin Bus Ladies as well. Subscribe to our channel, obviously. And remember to hit the like button and let me know what you guys actually think of Hello. And let me know if you want me to review anything new that's out there and I might possibly not know about it because it's a small cap coin. I'll catch you guys later, basically. Have a good one. Bye-bye.